Eight countries with something in common. Each has attempted, tested or proposed the idea of universal income. The plan has been abandoned in two cities in Canada, rejected in Switzerland and is ongoing in Iran, Uganda and Finland. Finland is the first European country to have a go. The idea is to observe what happens when individuals receive a certain monthly sum from the state without restriction. Does the scheme act as a disincentive for those looking for work? The focus group of 2,000 unemployed people between 25 and 58 continue to receive money from the state for housing and health care. Unemployment benefits are abolished and the costs hit 20 million per year. Cine is part of the project. Each month, whether she works or not, she receives the same amount of state money. It's amazing to have the opportunity to do this kind of part-time job and also relieving that whatever I get, it just increases my income rather than takes away from any benefit, for example. If at the end of the project, Finland concludes that those unemployed continue to look for work, they'll adopt the plan for the whole country. The scheme will end poverty and the state will free itself from costly administrative burdens. At the moment, there are more than 100 social security arrangements. Why not replace them with just one? That would be bureaucratically simpler and people would have the freedom to choose for themselves what they do in society. Having a choice of what to do and the role to play in society is a utopian idea and it's the flagship policy of French socialist presidential candidate Benoit Hamon. The plan is as follows. In 2018, in-work benefits will be increased by 10% to €600 Euros and paid to all those eligible. At the same time, an income of €750 Euros will be handed to all young people from 18 to 25. This will then be extended to the whole population at a cost of €45 billion. Euros. He knows it's a lot of money. In the long term, it's expected to cost €350 billion. The plan is to merge existing welfare with targeted tax revenue to finance the plan. He's thinking long term, and in the long term, attitudes change. The Swiss rejected the idea in a referendum in 2016. Those that support the idea say work will be carried out by robots in the near future, and unemployment will explode with less money for purchasing what's produced.